everybody, it's Michaela here at the Nelson Community Food Center and today I'm going to show you how to make my world famous breakfast potatoes. Uh, I can't actually claim this recipe as my own, it's uh, sort of uh, part Jamie Oliver, part my brother teaching me how to make breakfast potatoes many years ago, but it works out perfectly every time and pretty much every time I make it somebody says how the heck do you make these potatoes so I'm gonna show you guys today and um, these are twice cooked breakfast potatoes so they're not the fastest thing in the world but they are delicious um, they're great for dinner too you know you don't just have to have them for breakfast so here I've got some raw garlic that I uh, took the uh, husk on the outside off of I just crushed them gonna leave them just crushed like that and I have pre chopped my potatoes into some little cubes this is kind of the size I like for breakfast cubes but totally up to you you could do like I know bigger wedges or even tinier cubes if you want um, and you're gonna cut those guys up pop them in your pot and then you're gonna fill your water according to how many potatoes are how high the potatoes are in the pot I used to always fill the pot with water and then dump the potatoes in and that kind of leads to like unnecessary boiling time for the water so I like to put my potatoes in first cover them with as much water as I need and then we go from there I'm gonna season the water pretty heavily with salt um, that will actually just go right into the potatoes and they'll instantly be a deeper kind of uh, flavor to them. And then I'm gonna go with, uh, I've got I think four potatoes I chopped up in this pot here. And I'm gonna go with three whole cloves of garlic. As you know, I really like garlic. We're gonna be roasting these later on and uh, those little cloves of garlic are totally delightful if you think you're getting a potato but then you've got a crispy piece of garlic. Personally, I really like that. Um, and I'm also going to throw a couple of bay leaves into this pot here and they're just going to do another kind of subtle herby kind of flavor to the potatoes. Pretty mild but it does actually make a difference. So I'm going to put this guy onto high and get it boiling and once these potatoes have come to a boil I'm not going to fully boil them. I'm going to be parboiling the potatoes, um, which just means partially, partially boiling. So for the size of the potato that I did, I showed you guys here, I'm going to parboil these for about eight minutes until they're fork tender. So I'll see you back here in eight minutes. All right, so we're back. I just uh, boiled these potatoes, as I said, parboiled them for about seven minutes. And uh, they seem to be fork tender, which I just kind of wanted to show you. You don't want to fully boil them so they're like mashable, but these guys, you can see I can get a fork into them there. And uh, that's gonna be important for the next step that I'm gonna show you here. So I will be right back. Okay, so I have strained my potatoes. Um, they're in this little colander here. And this next step is, I think, what makes them so much better than uh, just sort of whatever boil and then throw them in the oven potatoes. These guys are gonna get what we call chuffed. So I've got my potatoes in the strainer and I wanna let them dry a little bit in there so all the steam's gonna come off of them and that's gonna make them all the more crispy. And here I'm actually just gonna shake these potatoes and let their size kind of bash up against each other. And the more that you kind of rough up the edges of the potato, no, if you can see that there, the more you kind of let these guys get all roughed up, the surface area, there's more surface area to crisp and they get kind of fluffy on the outside and or fluffy on the inside and crispy on the outside and they're just totally delicious. And believe it or not, I make these almost every single weekend. Um, and I think that this is something that you can all probably manage to do every weekend too, uh, especially since they're in the Good Food Bank. Every Wednesday, we've got these beautiful russet potatoes. So I've got my potatoes beautifully chuffed as Jamie Oliver says. They're bashed up against each other and uh, I am going to toss these onto a pan and throw them into my preheated oven. Uh, so have the oven up at 400 degrees here. I'll be right back. Cookie sheet time. And now we are going to season them. So we'll spread them out onto the cookie sheet here. 
and we want to get all those little tiny bits and sometimes when they break apart it's amazing because you get these like extra extra crispy bits and uh, different textures which I really personally enjoy and I'm going to use a light oil you could totally use an olive oil personally I like to use uh, a neutral kind of oil that's going to burn at a higher temperature so I'm using some canola oil today just spread that around there and then here I have my secret weapon garlic powder I find that this actually helps crisp them up a little bit and just makes a little extra garlic flavor beyond the cloves that I put in there. So I'm just gonna kind of gently coat these in a little bit of garlic powder. And the next step is some salt. Always good with the salt. And a little bit of black pepper. Perfect. And you could go ahead and put whatever seasonings you like on here. You could do some paprika or some chili powder. You could go totally different direction and put some turmeric on there because I like turmeric on pretty much anything. Um, pretty versatile recipe. And now we're gonna just kind of lightly coat these guys. Um, they're pretty. They're 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 still hot here, but they're cool enough for me to to handle. And we want to really get all the seasoning all over our chuffed potatoes. And our next step is we're gonna pop them in the oven at the 400 degrees, and we're gonna let them cook untouched for 15 minutes. And this is a crucial step that took me a little while to figure out. You don't wanna go in there five minutes in and, and fiddle with the potatoes. 15 minutes is gonna allow for a nice crust to form on the one side of the potato. So you're gonna get really crispy potatoes that way. So I like to go 15 minutes and then we're gonna turn them over. So with my kind of greasy hands, I'm gonna go over to the 400 degree oven and pop these guys in. All right, okay, potatoes. Uh, we're just in the oven for 15 minutes as I said to start. And I'm gonna go in and pluck these guys. So they're kind of doing a nice uh, little crisp there. They're not quite as crisp as I want them to be, but that's okay, they're gonna go back in for another sort of, you can see some of them getting a nice edge on them there. Um, they're gonna go back in for another, uh, we're gonna say 15 minutes again on the other side. All right, so I'll see you guys back in 15 minutes for some really actually crispy potatoes. Okay, so we're back. It's been 15 minutes um, and now I have some, I felt like a fake for a second because the first time we pulled them out of the oven they didn't crisp quite as much as they normally do. But here I have, before your eyes, extremely crispy potatoes. I don't know if you can quite hear that, but there's an excellent crust on these potatoes. They're looking just the way that I want to eat them with my fried eggs for breakfast. And uh, it's gonna give them a little taste. It's the middle of the afternoon, but in my world, it's, it's always potato time. Okay. Mmm, perfectly crispy. Seasoned all the way through. Excellent breakfast potatoes. You could have them at lunch, you could have them at dinner, you could just have them for a snack. You could do this with a yellow potato, a red skin potato, do a sweet potato. I promise you, these are gonna work out. So, please try my world famous breakfast potatoes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, we're gonna have more recipes coming to you soon. And uh, subscribe if you like the video.